Over the years, blockchain has been able to produce quite a number of billionaires, and from the Elon Musk fueled rise of Dogecoin to Web3 inventions and NFTs to the wild swings in Bitcoin and other crypto tokens, the world of cryptocurrencies has been crazy. However, amid all this excitement, there's no shortage of money to be made in the $2 trillion crypto industry. Seven more billionaires have recently been added to the list of crypto billionaires. Newcomers on this list include the creators of Web3 infrastructure provider Alchemy, as well as the founders of OpenSea, a marketplace for NFTs. So in today's video, we'll take a look at the world's top 15 blockchain billionaires. So before we go any further, please like and subscribe to this channel. So with that said, let's get started, guys. Number 15, Matthew Rozak. Net worth $1.4 billion. Rozak began purchasing Bitcoin in 2012 and was an early participant in initial coin offerings, purchasing tokens such as Mastercoin, Factum, and MadeSafe in 2013. Rozak has also made investments in several cryptocurrency firms, including famous exchanges Coinbase and Kraken. Rozak formerly worked as a venture capitalist at Silk Road Equity, where he settled SEC charges of insider trading and in private equity at Advent International in the United Kingdom. Rozak, a true believer, recently co-led an attempt to give each member of Congress $50 in digital assets and claims to have given Richard Branson and Bill Clinton their first bitcoins. Number 14, Michael Saylor, net worth $1.6 billion. Saylor has converted MicroStrategy, a commercial software firm he co-founded in 1989, into a Bitcoin proxy. In just 2020, the crypto enthusiast orchestrated MicroStrategy's purchase of over 70,000 Bitcoins for around $1.1 billion in cash reserves and borrowed funds. The bet has paid off as the value of Bitcoin has risen. Saylor has rejoined the 3 comma club after MicroStrategy's stock has doubled in the last two years. Number 13, Kim Hyung Neon, net worth $1.9 billion. Hyung Neon, the executive chair president of South Korea's Dunamu, owns an estimated 13% of the country's main crypto exchange, which he co founded a decade ago with another crypto billionaire, Song Chi Hyung. Number 12, Fred Ersham, net worth $2.1 billion. Fred Ersham, a Coinbase co-founder, currently controls Paradigm, which invests mostly in crypto startups and new currencies. Paradigm made an investment in Citadel Securities, one of the leading market makers in U.S. stock trading markets in January. The 34-year-old Ersham left Coinbase in 2017, but he remains on the board and has a 6% investment in the company. Ersham worked as a foreign exchange trader at Goldman Sachs before discovering cryptocurrency. The young tycoon attributes some of his crypto success to being a hardcore gamer in high school. Number 11. Devin Finzer and Alex Atala, net worth $2.2 billion. The 30-somethings co-founded OpenSea, a blockchain business that was an early player in the booming NFT marketplace. People use OpenSea as a peer-to-peer -peer platform to produce, buy, and sell non-fungible tokens. The duo applied to the Y Combinator Accelerator program in 2018 to compensate individuals in cryptocurrency to share their Wi-Fi hotspots. They pivoted to the notion of a marketplace for fledgling NFTs after discovering CryptoKitties and Ethereum-run trinkets that drew a cult-like following last year. OpenSea raised funding in January at a valuation of $13.3 billion, up from $1.5 billion just six months before. Finzer and Atala each own approximately 18.5% of the company. Number 10. Nikhil Vishwanathan and Joseph Lau, net worth $2.4 billion each. The co-founders of blockchain startup Alchemy are Nikhil Vishwanathan and Joseph Lau. Vishwanathan and Lau first met in 2011 at Stanford while serving as TAs for a computer science class. They have subsequently launched over 10 enterprises together. Down to Lunch, which is a meetup app, was temporarily the top social networking app in the Apple App Store in April 2016, following their discovery of cryptocurrency. The duo founded Alchemy in 2017 as a tool set for blockchain business and developers. Today, Alchemy is a popular Web3 application development platform with clients such as NFT Powerhouse, OpenSea, and decentralized exchange Kyber. In February, the company raised $200 million at a valuation of $10.2 billion. Less than four months after being valued at $3.5 billion in a previous financing round. Number 9. Jed McCaleb, net worth $2.5 billion. 
McCaleb made the majority of his money through Ripple Labs and XRP, a payment-focused cryptocurrency project he co-founded in 2012. McCaleb quit the project in 2013 after a disagreement with Larson and other team members. Since then, McCaleb has sold a significant portion of his XRP in periodic increments. Following a 2014 separation agreement, he reached with Ripple Labs. He is also the founder and chief technology officer of a cryptocurrency called Stellar. Number 8. Barry Silbert – Net worth $3.2 billion Barry Silbert is the founder of the investment firm Digital Currency Group. He also has created a diverse crypto conglomerate. Grayscale, which manages around $28 billion in crypto assets, and Coindesk, a renowned crypto news and events website, are both controlled by his investment firm. Silbert's DCG has invested in over 200 cryptocurrency businesses through its many subsidiaries. Silbert previously worked as an investment banker and entrepreneur, selling stock trading website Second Market to Nasdaq in 2015 for an undisclosed sum. Number 7. Song Chi Hyung, net worth $3.7 billion. Chi Hyung, the founder of South Korea's top crypto exchange Upbit, has cashed in on the country's expanding $46 billion crypto sector. He is thought to possess around a quarter of Upbit's parent business, Dunamu, which was valued at $17 billion in November after Hybe. The agency behind K-pop sensation, BTS, purchased a 2.5% stake. Qualcomm, the world's largest semiconductor company, previously owned 6% of Dunamu. Number 6. Cameron Winklevoss and Tyler Winklevoss, net worth $4 billion each. The twin brothers, best known as Mark Zuckerberg's college nemesis in the Hollywood blockbuster The Social Network, have transformed their $65 million settlement with Zuck into digital riches, accumulating crypto fortunes of around $4 billion each. Since purchasing Bitcoin in 2012, the siblings have expanded their digital asset portfolios, acquiring additional cryptocurrencies and creating the cryptocurrency exchange Gemini. The partnership also owns Nifty Gateway, a digital art auction business that benefited from last year's NFT boom. Number 5. Chris Larson, net worth $4.3 billion Chris Larson is the co-founder and executive chairman of blockchain company Ripple, whose XRP token is currently the 8th largest cryptocurrency. Larson kept himself busy fighting a Securities Exchange Commission lawsuit, which was first filed in December 2020 alleging that Ripple's initial coin offering was an unlawful offer and sale of unregistered securities. Many crypto watchers regard the case, which is still making its way through federal courts, as a watershed moment for future token sales. Larson and Ripple both deny any wrongdoing. Aside from his legal battles, Larson61 has teamed up with environmental organizations to start the Change the Code, Not the Climate campaign, which aims to put pressure on the Bitcoin community to lessen the digital asset's high carbon impact. Number 4. Gary Wang – Net Worth $5.9 Billion Gary Wang is the co-founder and chief technology officer of FTX, which he co-founded with Bankman Fried in 2019. Wang owns a 16% share in FTX's global business and more than $600 million in FTT, FTX's native token. Wang previously worked as a software engineer at Google, where he helped establish the online booking site Google Flights. At MIT, he studied math and computer science. Number 3. Brian Armstrong – Net Worth $6.6 .6 Billion Brian Armstrong, the CEO and founder of Coinbase, took the crypto exchange public in April 2021 through a direct offering at a whopping $100 billion valuation. Its market capitalization is now around half of that, but Armstrong is still the third wealthiest person in cryptocurrency thanks to his 19% ownership. Armstrong, who is known for his plain t-shirts and bald paint, raised eyebrows in 2020 when he ordered his employees to avoid discussing politics at work. In January, the 39-year-old paid $133 million for a Bel Air property, one of the city's most expensive real estate deals in history. Armstrong has recently advocated against the EU Parliament's proposed crypto law. Number 2. Sam Bankman-Freud – Net Worth $24 Billion The 30-year-old Sam Bankman-Freud moved from Hong Kong to the more crypto-friendly Bahamas in late 2021 with his exchange FTX, which received $400 million in January at a $32 billion valuation. The startup's backers include crypto VC Shop Paradigm, which is headed by Coinbase founder Fred Ersham, another crypto billionaire, venture capital firm Sequoia, 
buyout firm Toma Bravo, and Ontario Teachers Pension Plan Board. Investors reportedly valued FTX's operations in the United States at $8 billion. A self-proclaimed supporter of effective altruism, the utilitarian inflected idea of doing the best possible. Bankman Freud has pledged to give away his whole fortune throughout his life. He owns over half of FTX and over $7 billion in FTT, the platform's native coin. Number 1. Changpeng Zhao, net worth $65 billion Changpeng Zhao is the 19th richest person in the world and the founder and CEO of Binance. According to Forbes, he owns at least 70% of Binance, the top global cryptocurrency trading site. Last year, the business reportedly handled over two-thirds of all trade volume handled by centralized exchanges, generating revenue of over $16 billion. According to these estimations, Forbes has increased its estimate of CZ's worth from $1.9 billion last year. The 44-year-old also owns some Bitcoin and an unspecified amount of BNB, which is Binance native. We've come to the end of this video, and if you found this video interesting, kindly give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button too. Thanks for watching, goodbye for now.